Bye, Jan. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to another General Baptist Bible College, Saipan Community School, and everyone else. Chapel. We're so excited for this chapel, except... It's our last one. But... You can subscribe and still see more of us. So go to our channel, the Pastor Matty Ice channel, and you can hang out more with us and go on great adventures. So we're going to do a little quick recap before we do today's devotional about what in the world have we been talking about this year as we look at coming to Jesus and bowing down, humbly bowing down before Jesus to serve him. So, Victoria, where have we usually been when we've been doing our messages? We've been by the beach been near the water. Near the water. And oftentimes we have a special guest. And who's our special guest? Water. Water. Do you remember our dog, Water? So she likes to hang out with us and teach us some lessons. So, Victoria, what are some of the lessons that Water has been teaching us all year long? How to hold things. That she likes to carry things sometimes. Mm -hmm. Holding, carrying, like she plays bed. Oh, wow. And she loves us. She loves us. Also, remember, she loves to go on trips. Mm -hmm. She loves to take naps. So we've talked about those things, and we've pointed them to our walk with Jesus. And also, not just our walk with Jesus, but our walk at being better people. Our being better people for ourselves, being better people for our parents, and for our teachers, our classmates, the people around us. So we've pointed those lessons. How can we do all of those things? And ultimately, again, the ultimate goal is to bow down before Jesus, humbly serve him, and say that you're God and we're not. So today in our last chapel, we have a special guest. What? Who is going to be our special guest for this very last chapel? Are you ready for this? Mm. Mm, who could it be? It is. <gasps> Did you think it was going to be the real water? Sorry. Sorry. She's not here, but we have the best we can do. And we have something else because, see, Victoria has told you where we've been hanging out all year. So we thought we needed to hang out. By the water. By the water. <laughs> so, so, okay. Now, when water gets excited, this water, is she going to lick Victoria in the face? Nope. Is her tail going to hit her? Nope. If I threw something at water, would she catch it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. She <laughs> might be able to hold something on her head. Perhaps. Perhaps. And she might be really good at taking naps. Seems pretty good at it. She's probably really good at traveling. <laughs> yeah. So she's good at traveling. She's good at taking naps. But that was only a little bit of it. No, no. Hold on. What are these? Can we go swimming here? It was made with water. It was made with water by the ocean. Mm -hmm. But are we going to get sand in between our toes? No. no. Are we going to get a sunburn? No. Are we going to be able to just float out there? No. Because these pictures, this dog, they are not... Real. They're not. I mean, yes, she's real soft. She's real fluffy, but she's not the real water. <laughs> These were made with real water, but... They're, they're not water. So last week, if you remember, for our special Easter devotional, we talked about Jesus being the way, the truth, and... The life. And remember, it was from John 14, 1 through 4. Do you remember that? In the big, big house. Hopefully you looked that song up or you just sang it. Because it's really cool, and that's what Jesus gives us. And after 1 through 4, we, it, it goes on. It just tells us more about the story. We need, to, we need to look back at those and remember, because that's where we're going today as we finish up this chapel series. And yes, we're super sad. Uh, hopefully, again, we get to hang out with you more in the future, because we loved hanging out with you. But in today's last chapel, we want to take the John... 14, 1 through 4, and go on and talk about this being real thing. So, Victoria is going to read a passage from Ephesians chapter 4. So, if you want to flip there with us, we read out of the English Standard Version because that's what version our waterproof Bible is in. So, she's going to be reading Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 24. So, if you want to flip there, and also there are... Uh, 
websites that you can go to or their apps that you can go to if your parents allow you to do that or your teachers allow you to do that to go to those so you can read along with us. We really encourage you to read along, but it's also really important to have a Bible and know how to get there. And I'm sure if you don't have a Bible, you can contact your teachers or the staff at General Baptist Bible College and they would be, be more than happy to help you out. And if they're not, I'm sorry. Okay, so Victoria's going to read Ephesians chapter 4, starting in verse 17 on to 24. Hopefully you follow along with her. Now this I say and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, due to their hardness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy, and pr to practice every kind of impurity. I'm going to stop there. Wow. So much big words. It's like, what is happening here? But I want to focus on darkened and calloused. Darkened and calloused. So, you know, if we like pointed these lights away right now and be like, oh, where'd I go? So that's darkened. Callous. Callous has come on your hands. Mm -hmm. Callous can come on your heart as well. Mm -hmm. And it's whenever you work something over and over and over again, eventually that gets callous. So on your hands, if you're out there with your weed eater or out there with your machete or shovel, shovel, whatever you're using, eventually there will get calluses there. But the same thing can be with your heart as well. You can get hardened. Your heart can get hardened from loving others. Mm -hmm. And again, more importantly, from loving God. Okay, continue reading there as we saw that, that the Gentiles, they were focusing on this impurity. They were focusing because they were callous. They were living in darkness. So let's continue on here. What verse are we on? 20. Verse 20. All right, you there? But that is not the way you learned Christ. Assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life, and is corrupt through deceitful desires. So put off your old self. It's corrupt. It's full of deceitful desires. These desires are telling you, hey, you need to do this. You Here's an example. Your deceitful desires are saying, you need to win. When maybe one of your friends, they were arguing with you. They were being rude to you. And you're like, you know what? I need to win. So you're mean back. Mm -hmm. Or you yell at them. Or you cheat. Or you cheat. You steal. Or maybe... You lie about them, or even maybe physical violence. You push them, you shove them. So we're supposed to put that off. And what are we going to put on here? What are we? What's the new self that we're putting on here? Verse twenty-three, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. In true righteousness and holiness. So we're putting off all of the bad stuff, all of the former stuff, all of the fake stuff all the fake stuff that doesn't take us to the real life that doesn't take us where we need to be and instead we need to focus on true righteousness and holiness now holiness just simply means to be set apart that you're not doing what the way of the world is doing but instead setting yourself part apart aside and focusing on and in this case god or specifically this case jesus and that's what we all need to do as we're striving in this life. To say, I'm going to put away the darkness. I'm going to put away the calloused heart. So these, these deceitful desires mm -hmm. that, are, that end up fake. Because if I got this, I'm like, I'm so excited for her to catch the ball. And I throw it at her. She's not going to catch it. She's not going to catch it. I'm so excited to go swimming today. Not going to happen. See, these are fake desires that aren't going to give me what I really want and need. The only way we can really get what we want and need is that last part of the verse by pursuing true righteousness. And that only comes through Jesus Christ. So, we're done here. This is the end of our time together in our devotionals. We have had so much fun hanging out with you this year. Again, hopefully we get to see you more on our channel as we go around the world. But maybe we get to see you in person. Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be great? So hopefully one day when we're able to do that. But until then, we hope that you continue striving for truth, that you continue striving to pursue Jesus and bowing down, humbly serving his, him as you bow down at his feet and say, you're better than I am because he's God. Mm -hmm. He created everything. Colossians mm -hmm. 1.17 said Jesus was before all things and through him, he holds all things together. So yeah, remember back to John 
14, 1 through 4. I messed that up. <laughs> Remember that, that he is the way, the truth, the life. He's going to prepare a big, big pl house for us, a big place for us to all dwell together called heaven. And you have the opportunity. Yeah, it's super exciting. So if you have any questions about that, we encourage you to ask your faculty at General Baptist Bible College, or if you're here at SCS, ask myself, ask Pastor Steve, ask Pastor Justin, Miss Amanda, whoever. Ask somebody. If you're somewhere else around the world, you can hit us up in the comments below or ask us somehow because it's very important. Get away from the fake stuff. Even though Victoria did a great job painting these. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Get away from the fake stuff. It's not going to do what you're called to do, which is to live a life of true righteousness and holiness, being set apart for Jesus to serve him. I thank you for hanging out with us today and this year and hopefully more. All right. I'm Pastor Matt. I'm Victoria. Wherever you are in this world, stay chill and float on. Bye, Jan.